fam. We're back with another one. It's your girl. Back with this Santo. Oh my God. Back with another one. It's your girl. Back with this Santo. It's your girl, Lisa. And Vince. And we have a video for you. As you guys know, or may not know, we are from the Caribbean. I am from the, I was going to say Virgin Islands. Whoa, basically, you know, Whoa. I got babies from the Virgin Islands, half Virgin Islands. But anyways, anyways, I am a Dominican, born. She's a santo. And made. <laughs> and um, that's what I am. And yes, I can speak Spanish fluently. It was my first language. I did not know English. I came to the United States knowing only one language. And now I know two and so do my kids. She married me for um. Green Stop card. doing that! Stop doing that! Stop! No, I'm. No, he's so wrong for that. Ninety day fiance. That's not true. Mhm. Mm okay. He's so annoying. You, Vince. Ice. Ice. Yeah. Come on. What? So what is the video about? This rivalry that we have, like literally, we're married, guys. But this rivalry between this island situation, like the Dominican Republic and the Virgin, Virgin Islands, Island. is ridiculous. Like, first of all, you picked me. And you accepted. Uh, but you're the one that's always bringing these little snippets and things. I don't know if it's like something that you guys do regularly to my people. But he's always talking about these things and like bringing up these little things. And so today we're going to bring you similarities and differences and I need the tan. And little funny things about each and one of our cultures. So here we go. So first of all, let's talk about food. All Caribbean people have very similar food. Yes or no? Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for fish and mayo sauce. What's that from? That's a BVA thing. Okay, I was going to say, because we don't do that. Now, that's a different level. <laughs> um, I don't eat fish. I don't really care, so. But yeah. So one of the things that I recently have found, not recently, but when I married Vince, or dated Vince, I found out that's very similar, and I wonder who took the name from who is Johnny Cake. So Johnny Cake, as you guys know, it's basically a doughy fried food that um, people in the Caribbean, but mainly the Virgin Islands make. And it's fluffy, it's amazing, and it is delicious. So you could get it in almost every Caribbean island. It's just that we make the best Johnny Cakes. And you know what? I'm going to give that to you. Because... We call, you guys want to know the name that we call it? Johnny Keke. Wow. So who do you think had the name first? We did. Yeah, it's pretty obvious because you can't really, clearly you guys had Johnny Cake and we were very Spanish about it and Made construed it. it to Johnny Keke, you know? But ours is not as fluffy as you guys is. Mm. Ours is definitely more, damn it, I hate that I have to say this, but more dry. And less fluffy inside. It's it's less doughy. It's more like a crunchy, kind of like fried dough. It's like in between a fried dough and a Johnny cake, you know? And um, so I'm going to give this one, it's a similar, that's a similarity, but I'm going to give this one to you guys. It's definitely better and definitely started with your name on it. Um, What's the second one? Dumpling. We call it dumpling. <laughs> All they're doing is putting a little accent on it. Johnny Keke and Dumpling. <laughs> right. I, I agree. Like, um, I, I've this is these are the things that I've learned from marrying him. Like I thought that we were the only ones that had these little thing, but literally it's taken. <laughs> and sorry my people, but the original names you can't like even try to you know, try to say that we got it first. It's dumpling that we, and then we switch it to dumpling and Johnny, Johnny cake, and we switch it to Johnny cake. You know what I'm saying? Like, who? Okay. Our dumplings, how we make them, you guys make them very big and like round and stuff. Sometimes. 
depending on who's making them. We re literally make like we roll them like this. It's like a little roll, like a tiny skinny little roll, and we put it in this soup kind of situation. It's really good, and we pour it out. It's kind of like like a bowl of soupy dumplings and it's like i said it's really good but it's completely different in styles but same thing in consistency the doughy situation yeah the next one that i think our people had first name wise is freckle exactly they say freckle but the word is resfresco, which means refreshments in Spanish. Obviously, freco, it sounds like it's a cut up of the original, which is refresco or refreshment. You know? And that's all. Um, so you don't want it. So, you, so you're going to give that to us, right? I don't know. That Freco is not a word. It's, it is a word in our. Yeah, but it's okay. So just like I gave dumpling to you, dumpling is not really a thing. You know what I'm saying? It comes from dumpling. Freco obviously comes from refresco, which means a beverage, like a. It's not that obvious. Yes, it's very obvious. Well, we could talk about it in the comments. Then leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. I'm not giving that one to you guys. So that's not fair because I'm very obvious Life isn't and fair. I'm giving you you guys's. Like thing, and I then, gave up my freedom so you could get a visa. What, Vince? You need to stop saying that because people's gonna really think that I'm gonna have to show you all my papers. I've been a citizen Her since papers. I was. <laughs> you didn't explain what a freco is. Our, it's shaved ice yeah. or like crumbled ice with um, like flavored, uh, like syrup type. It it it, it has a consistency that's not like juice. We call it also, there's another name, it's limbel. Limbe. Like, but okay, go ahead. And like sometimes we use, um, like coconut syrup or like, like carnation type of milk, you know, like a sweetener on top of it. Sounds really good. Haven't had it in a very long time. And I've so. never had it. So guys, when I visit the Virgin Islands, if y'all know somebody that has the best is that what you yeah, mean? there's a truck right by um the post office in St. Thomas. Please let me know. I'll be getting it or take me because this sounds good and I have not had it. I'm dropping you off at the fish market by your Wow. <laughs> and the next one is... Pate. Pastelitos. Pate. Pastelitos. Pate. Pastelitos. Pate. Pate. So anyways, so basically it's Pate. dough rolled out. You stuff it with meat. Do, 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 do. You close it up with a fork around. Fry, fry it. it. And bomb. Pastelitos is what we call it. Or empanadillas. You guys say pate. The next one. Saltfish. Bacalao. So what is bacalao? Saltfish. What is it? It's like a uh, mushed up. He doesn't like fish, so he's going to make it sound bad. I grew up on... I'm allergic to fish. Yeah. I grew up on bacalao, on saltfish. Like, literally, my mom would literally shove it down my throat as a child. And I don't like... And I don't like it. I just... I don't like it anymore. It's something that is just not... Pleasing to me. Yeah. But it's definitely a staple in both of our islands. Yep. Yeah. So that's a similarity. Saltfish but and Johnny Cake. Saltfish and Dumpling. Mm -hmm. Saltfish Pate. Mm -hmm. Saltfish. We do all that. We, we like to eat it with platanos. Plantain. Yeah. So, yeah. And the last one, speaking of plantain, or platanos, is, for me, it's, okay, so we found something that's 
similar in like the form and texture, but not really similar. No, in... yours is all. But that's your culture. Your culture. Okay, so what we're talking about is fungi and mango. Yes, they're different. Mine is ours is literally this vegetable, this plantain, and you guys is li literally this cornmeal with vegetable in it. Okra. Yeah, I know it's like a vegetable, but it's kind of like that same staple no. of that hearty, Ours. of that hearty side meal. Ours isn't lumpy and yeah, it is. And gushy. You're, you're who are you eating mango from? Because it ain't me. I don't make it. It's smooth. Ours is smooth it's, too. Um, it's soft. Ours is soft too. There's like no surprises when you eat it, like. You could, yes, there you is. Could eat, you could eat yes, mango, there is. and then all of a sudden you have like a, like a um. Don't play me. Like a chunk, of, of like the the plantain, and then you eat an onion accidentally. That's delicious. And Why would you complain about an onion? Yeah, with you guys, you eat this fun, fun fungi, and no, you no, literally. No, 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 no. No, no, tasting no. it and then you have this slimy okra coming down your throat and you're just like what well, luckily i love okra and i'm just trying to be the devil's advocate right now but for real like what do you mean mango is no. delicious fungi over mango all right guys down below if you have tried mango and if you have tried fungi please let us know the difference which one do you prefer what do you eat it with and um we'll see the only thing that you guys do that we don't really do is Tostones and fried cheese. Y'all get on that fried cheese. At least I never had tostones or fried cheese until until I lived in Puerto Rico. You had fried cheese in Puerto Rico then? Yeah. When? Before I dated you. Wh when? With her. Oh!